Hello everyone. Today I shall discuss exercise 4.2, question number one. Construct the following quadrilaterals, rhombus, B, E, and D. Here we have drawn a rough diagram of this rhombus. Here you see, these are D, E. D is 6.5 centimeter, and B, N is 5.6 centimeter. But we know that in rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular bisect of each other. Perpendicular bisector of each other. You see, I mean this is 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. This is also 90 degree, and this is also 90 degree. And these are perpendicular bi perpendicular bisectors also. That means bisect each other. I mean this side. If it is O, then OD is equal to OE, and ON is equal to OB. Right? Here you see, NB or BN. Is 5.6 centimeter. Bn, Bn is given as 5.6 centimeter. 5.6 centimeter. If we take this point as O, then No, No is equal to OB, and that is equal to 5.6 by 2. That is 2.8 centimeter. 2.8 centimeter, because we know. That in rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other, 90 degree, and also half of that. This is equal to this one, and DO is equal to OE. First of all, let us take a line segment DE with the help of a ruler. The ruler is we have taken DE as 6.5 centimeter. You see, we take D as 6.5 centimeter. Let us take a 6.5. You see, this is exactly 6.5 centimeter, right? And the name of this line is DE. This is DE. This is D. This is E. And it is 6.5 centimeter. The value of this is 6.5 centimeter. We'll find the perpendicular bisector of DE with the help of a compass. Let us take a compass here. Here we have taken a compass, and with this compass, we'll take the perpendicular bisectors of D. Perpendicular bisectors of D, right? Now you see here, if it takes this pointer at point D, point at D, take this pointer at point D, and take more than half. And draw an arc, more than half, more than half, and draw an arc. Right? Let us draw an arc here with D as pointer. You see, taking D as the center, make an arc here. Right. Once again, taking E as center, and take another arc here with E as center. Take an arc here. Right. Now take this pointer with E as center. Let us take another arc. With E as center, let us take another arc. Let us take another arc. Again, with D as center, let us take another arc here. With D as center. With D as center, let us take another arc, and this is the perpendicular bisector of D. With the help of this ruler, join this line. With the help of this ruler, join this line, 
and we will get the perpendicular bisector of D. We get the line as perpendicular bisector of D. This is the perpendicular bisectors of D, right? Now, this is the perpendicular bisector of D. Now, this point is O. This point is O point. You see, this point is O point. And we know that in rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other, right? perpendicular bisectors right and diagonals bisect also each other right like the diagonals also bisect each other therefore we can write bn is 5.6 therefore no we take o as 2.8 centimeter let us take this with the help of this ruler and compass with the help of ruler and compass an arc of 2.8 centimeter with the help of this compass take an arc of take an arc of 2.8 centimeter let us take 2.8 centimeter here we are taking 2.9 2.8 See, this is exactly 2.8 centimeter, and from this point as center O, take an arc of 2.8 centimeter. Right? Let us this take this point at point O and make an arc of 2.8 centimeter. this one and again we'll make another 2.8 centimeter in downward direction take this pointer at O and make an arc here that is 2.8 centimeter right now here you see join this point we got the point here you got the point in O this is N point. This point is N, and this point is B. A joint DN and NF, joint DN and NF, joint DN, join the point DN. Let us join this point DN. Let us join this point DN. Let us join this point DN. Right? And also join any. Also join this point any. Also join this point any. Let us join this point in with the join with N and E. Join N with E. Let us join this point.
right any now let us join b and bd let us join b and bd let us join bd let us join this point bd Let us join this point BD. And also join BE. Let us join B also. Let us join BE. Here you see, you have joined all the. Now you see, BN is 5.6 centimeter, and we write here there is ON as 2.8 centimeter. ON as 2.8 centimeter. This is 2.8 centimeter, and OB is also 2.8 centimeter. 2.8 centimeter. And here you see how you have done this quadrilateral. Or rhombus B and D that is B E and D first of all draw a line D 6.5 centimeter after that find the perpendicular bisector of this line with DS center draw an arc here and with ES center draw an arc here and again with DS center draw an arc here and with ES center draw an arc here and join this line this line is the perpendicular bisector of D right this is 6.5 centimeter and let this intersect at point O right this point is o point now since bn is 5.6 cm we know that the diagonals bisect each other and also they are perpendicular bisector of each other right that means this value bn is 5.6 and half of 5.6 is 2.8 cm therefore from point o take an arc of 2.8 cm and from o take an arc of 2.8 cm that is b point right now we got n point join NO, DN and NE, also join DB and B. Here you see, on the four sides are equal. This side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this side. And this side is equal to this side. Right? And here you see, these diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. Also, not only that, they bisect each other also. Thus, we see that this is a rhombus with BN is, is equal to 5.6 cm and D is equal to 6.55 cm. In this way, you have to draw the quadrilateral that is B and D. Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you everybody for watching this video.